Um, right, everyone. Um, brew day today. Um, haven't bothered to do table the ins and outs um, to the competition brew. So, um, yeah, just wanted to make sure I got everything right for it. So, um, essentially, it's um, a kiwi, a kiwi gone feral, American IPA, uh, American style kiwi hops. Um, going for a big juice note. Um, usual base I use for my um, IPAs, which is um, quite nice and had quite a bit, quite a bit of success with it. So, but yeah, we're just chilling down now. Um, what else have we been up to? Yeah, just sort of uh, refining the technique. What we're doing here, um, like this is going a new firm bucket. Um, I'll show you my new firm fridge. Um, finally got a freezer that was uh, what I wanted. Uh, no, it's nice, it's not too tall, it's a nice squat wide one, I think it's about 304 litre, uh, easily get um, a third litre fermenter, uh, two if you squeezed it, um, I'll probably put a second drawer in just to put some, a second shelf in to put uh, um, five litre demijohns in when I'm doing splitting brews, and also um, probably just to store some of my bigger bottles as well, so um, work it really well, so um, that's all controlled by Link Bird. Uh, pretty much just set your temperature in. Uh, if it gets too cold, the heating uh, plate will kick in. Um, if it's too warm, the, the, the freezer kicks in too. So I could, the range I can go from is from, from 30, 36 degrees down to uh, 1 degrees, 0 degrees if we need to. Um, not that I want to freeze my beer. Um, but yeah, it uh, gives me more options and more control too. So uh, looking forward to that on this one. So going to get this one down and then I'm going to do my... Um, being tight head, there we go, swap. I'm gonna um, do my uh, Hobbage of the Dead brew after that um, for the uh, competition. Uh, a few more tweaks to that brew, uh, which I'm really happy with. And uh, yeah, so some of this will go into bottles, rest will go to the kegs. Uh, all my kegs at the moment are empty. Um, and been busily filling bottles the last two brews, so at the moment I'm on a weight loss hit, so I'm having to lose weight and not drink as much beer. Um, so I'm only limiting myself to two beers a week. God, it's hard. Um, but yeah, uh, it's um, going well. So um, anyway, I'll, uh, enough of me yammering on. Uh, short and sweet video of this one. Um, I'll just take some footage of the uh, firm fridge so you can see that. And that'll be it for me. So uh, welcome to the depths of my shed. Um, this is the small one. Uh, we're going to get this uh, moved soon to a different site. And then we've got a nice big... Um, big shed we're going to put on here so still renovating around here doing bits and pieces so anyway this is the uh, firm fridge um ink bird there there um and i've had that pretty much set at 18 degrees um i've had a test fermenter in there with a bit of water making sure it kept at the right temperature um and yeah the ink bird's very good uh shout out to kevin mccormick uh on trade me for new zealand guys if you go on there mapwood um he sells this is a basic one, and then he's got a uh, another one which is about a hundred and uh, something dollars. Um, but that's a fully programmable. I think you can. It's got five or six different uh, settings over different times that you set. Um, but I just wanted to go because I think this one was a good price and, and it was uh, basic and simple is what I want. So, so here we got here. Um, I've put a, a fermenter in there two or three days ago. Um, just to test it out. Uh, that sits on a mangrove jack um, heat pad on a bit of plywood um, and underneath out the drip tray drip hole. It's a draining hole at the back. I've got the um, power going out and the temperature probe coming in. Now if you undo the drip tray in behind um, just unscrew it. Um, it's quite easy to get your probes in and out and you can actually put that drip tray back in afterwards. It stops any moisture from coming on top of your motor. Now um, on the outside here, what I ended up having to do is um, for this one here, buy a plug um, and I've, I've wired that into the heating part. See the cord just come on. Um, it, hit 19, it hit 19 degrees. Let's focus on there. There we go. It hit 19 degrees, so now the um, cooling has come on. I've got a one temperature differential. So if I set it at 18, um, it'll come on at 19, and the heat pad will come on at 17. So it's uh, nice and easy. 
So yeah, that's all for me. Uh, not too complicated this time around. Uh, but yeah, we um, just trying to get some IPAs on and fill my kegs up. Um, so I'll do some nice lush IPAs and uh, go get some parcels sent out to people. So uh, anyway, that's all for me. Onwards and upwards. Have a good one, guys. Uh, let's see if I can spot on the screen. Eh, oh, he's got a spot. Eh, don't know what it is. So, uh, welcome to the depth of my shed. Uh, this is... Oh, I hate this again. Uh, stop. Right, you can style New Zealand. Let's, uh, okay, we'll start this one again. Right, okay. It's a bug when you're using your phone, the message comes in.